African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the special military operation in Ukraine on the 28th of January, 2023. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation. In Kupansk direction, Army Aviation and the artillery of the Vostok Group of Forces have neutralized the concentrations of manpower and hardware from 14th and 92nd Mechanized Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine near Simkovka, Kharkov Region, and Novosiolovskoy, Lugansk People's Republic. Up to 25 Ukrainian personnel, one armored fighting vehicle, two pickups, one Gvozdika self-propelled howitzer, and one U.S. manufactured M777 artillery system have been eliminated. In Krasny Lyman direction, operational tactical and army aviation, as well as the artillery of the center group of forces have neutralized the units from 103rd Territorial Defense Brigade, 25th Airborne and 95th Airborne Assault Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine near Vishnyavoy, Kharkov Region, Yampolovka, Donetsk People's Republic, and Serebryanskoy Forestry. The enemy has lost over 50 Ukrainian personnel, one infantry fighting vehicle, two armored fighting vehicles, and one U.S. manufactured M777 artillery system. In Donetsk direction, successful offensive operations of the U group of forces have resulted in taking more advantageous lines and positions. Over 30 Ukrainian personnel, one infantry fighting vehicle, two motor vehicles, one Grad multiple launch rocket system, MLRS, one Pion self-propelled artillery system, one Jayat sent B howitzer, Tumsta B howitzers, one U.S. manufactured M777 artillery system, as well as one U.S. manufactured and slash TPQ-37 counter-battery warfare radar have been eliminated. In South Donetsk and Zaporizhzhia directions, the units from the Vostok group of forces continued their successful offensive operations and neutralized the enemy near Ugladar, Novosiolka, Novomirskoy, Donetsk People's Republic, and Lugovskoy, Zaporizhzhia region. Two armed forces of Ukraine ordnance and hardware depots have been destroyed near Vadyanoy, Donetsk People's Republic, and Nikolskoy, Zaporizhzhia region. The enemy has lost up to 70 Ukrainian personnel, two infantry fighting vehicles, three armored fighting vehicles, two pickups, three D-20 and D-30 howitzers, as well as one Gvostika self-propelled howitzer. Operational Tactical Aviation, Missile Troops and Artillery of the Armed Forces of the Russian Federation have neutralized 86 artillery units of the Armed Forces of Ukraine at their firing positions, manpower and military equipment in 124 areas. Fighter Aviation of Russian Aerospace Forces has shot down one MiG-29 airplane of Ukrainian Air Force near Krasnoarmysk, Donetsk People's Republic. In addition, nine Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles have been shot down near Vladimirovka, Kremenea, Lugansk People's Republic, Tabievka, Kharkov Region, Nikolskoy, Donetsk People's Republic, and Zarabayanka, Zaporizhzhia Region. Moreover, eight rocket-propelled projectiles, launched by a Mars and Alka MLRS, have been intercepted near Donetsk and Valerianovka, Donetsk People's Republic. In total, 381 airplanes, 204 helicopters, 2,976 unmanned aerial vehicles, 402 air defense missile systems, 7,656 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 992 fighting vehicles equipped with MLRS, 3,944 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 8,198 special military motor vehicles have been destroyed during the special military operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.